Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my September update to the Deck of Panning Project pan that was created by Emily. You guys have hopefully seen this video or this project before. I do have everything linked down below. Um, I have the spreadsheet that Emily uses to randomize all the prompts. It has a list of everybody who's participating. Um, everything is down there in the description box as usual. And uh, this is a project that Emily started, I wanna say back in January, and this does go through the end of December. I should say December 20th. If you guys want to join along, please feel free to join along. I know this started at the beginning of the year, but you guys can jump in for the uh, last couple months of this project. It is really fun. Uh, it does use a deck of cards. If you guys don't have a deck of cards, then you, there are apps or random card generators on the internet that you guys can use. So feel free to join along if you would like. So before I get into my update and how I've been doing on this project. Let me quickly tell you what I'm wearing on my eyes for the 365 Days of Eyeshadows Challenge. I am wearing the Nomad Palette by Juvia's Place. This is stunning. It is a beautiful fall palette. In case you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. So for my eyeshadow look, I did use this one. They don't have any names. So I used this one to set down my eyeshadow primer. I went in with this one, darkened it up a little bit with the orange, and of course I went in with the deep brown on the outer corner of my uh, eyelid. So that's the uh, matte shadows that I um, used. And then for the shimmers, I used this dark green and this one on the inner portion of my eyelid. So this is a stunning palette. I love the look. I love how this turned out, just the beautiful shimmers. And Spoiler alert, this is one of the items that I will be giving away in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway uh, at the beginning of October. So, absolutely love this palette, the formula. I cannot speak highly enough of Juvia's Place eyeshadows. It is stunning. So, let's go ahead and get into my update for this month. I have been working on five products. I have been lucky enough not to get the plus one, so I'm only working on five cards at a time. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I got was an OG YouTube fave, and for that I chose my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. My goal was to use this one 30 times. I used it three times as of the last update, and for this update I have used it 10 more times. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today. Um, not that you guys can tell at all that I have used it. It still looks brand new, so I've gotten 13 uses on this. I do need to get 17 more before I can roll it out of the project. And this is a swatch of the Amrezy highlighter. Hopefully you guys can see it right over here. It's just a beautiful shimmery highlight. It is gorgeous. I understand why so many people love this and why um, ABH brought it back for a second time. So 17 more uses and I am gonna try to get those 17 uses over this next month so I can roll this out for the next update. Next, for the most expensive, I rolled in this Avant skincare. This has got so many words on it, but it's basically their micellar water right here. Uh, as of the last update, I'd used it 25 times, and I did use it 28 more to get down to here. So you can see where it was when I rolled it in, first update, second update. My goal is to use it halfway, and I decided that the halfway mark is this word right here, glycerin. So it's about right here is where I have deemed like halfway down the bottle. So again, I'm hoping that I can get down to here for the next update. And if you look at my progress marks, I don't think that's gonna be a challenge at all. So about there, and then I will have hit my goal on this one. So this one is staying in the project for another month. Next I got, it just said pencils. So I decided to roll in a lip liner. This is the Dominique Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Crush. It is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today, and I do have a little bit of lip gloss on top of it. As of the last update, so here's where how much there was when I rolled it in. As of the last update, I'd used it nine times. I've used it 20 more, and this is an empty. My lips today was the last time I could use it, so if you guys look at the packaging, when I roll it all the way up, wrong way, when I roll it all the way up, you guys can see the little bit of the pencil right there, but it is completely flush with the packaging. Like I can't get anything else out. Oh, I can get a little bit of a swatch kind of, but that's that's the color, that's all I can get out of there. So this one is an empty. I got 29 uses out of this. It is a really creamy formula. 
beautiful color. I really did enjoy this one. So this is an empty for this project, so I will be able to roll in or choose another card for this product. Next for the prompt, the most expensive, I rolled in this Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. This one, I told you guys, is super thick and you can literally shake out individual drops of this product because it is thick enough. My goal was to use this one 60 times as of the last update. I guess I rolled it in last update. I have used it 28 times. So I went from here down to here. So very little progress for 28 uses. And again, it's because you just need four, maybe five drops to get your whole face. This one is going to last quite a while. So I do have 32 more uses on this. I do use a toner in my morning routine and in my evening routine. So I don't think it'll be a problem to have 32 uses for the next update at all. And then the final product I rolled in was for a double-ended or a duo product, and I chose my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Duo. It has a color corrector on one side and a brightener on the other. This was a gift I got from Influencer for review purposes, um, so that's where this one came from. And my goal was to use each end 15 times, and I did do that. I actually hit my 15th use today. So this is another one that is rolling out of the project. This corrector, I do have it under my eyes. It looks like this. It is a little bit too light for me right now with the tan that I have. Um, but I do use another um, concealer to help darken it up a little bit. But this is the concealer right here. And when it is blended in, it has the lightest, sheerest coverage. And it doesn't really build up. It did a great job <laughs> covering right there on my hand but under my eyes it does not do a very good job. It is like the sheerest bit of coverage where you can still kind of see the skin underneath, which is great if you have nothing that needs concealing. Um, I do need a little bit of help with concealing and so this one is a little bit frustrating to me. I've told you guys multiple times I have like this dark spot right here underneath my eye. It is sun damage and I can put four layers of this concealer on top of it and you can still see through it. I do need to use something like the Tarte Shape Tape in order to cover up this spot because this one just doesn't cut it. So I'm sure it works for people who have fantastic under eyes and don't really need any, any concealing whatsoever. Uh, but for me, this one was a little bit of a frustrating product, so. That's kind of my, my little review on this one for you guys. So I did hit my 15 years goal for this. So I do have two products rolling out for this update. So I'm gonna be able to choose two new cards. I do have my deck of cards right here and I will begin shuffling this and I will go ahead and pop the new board up on the screen. So if you guys are new to this project, Emily does shuffle the board every single month. She will rotate through. Um, some of these items will appear on the board the next time, but all of the spaces have been shifted around. So what is now the Two of Diamonds uh, may be the Eight of Clubs for the next update. So you never know, sometimes they uh, are off the board for a couple of months. So I can see that Emily has put back in the plus one. So hopefully I don't get two of hearts. Um, for the three of diamonds, that is pick your space. That means if I get that one, I can look at any spot on the board and choose which prompt I want to work on. Um, so that is the whole board. And then as you guys know, the Jack, Queen, King, and Ace all stay the same. So. All right, I have shuffled my cards. I'm gonna actually do it one more time for you guys before I choose the two cards. So let me go ahead and do that. So the first card I got is the Seven of Hearts, which is a bomb product, which is a black owned makeup brand. And then the next one I got was the Ten of Diamonds, which is a summer themed product. So let me pause right here and I'll be right back with the two products that I'm gonna work on. All right, I have my two products chosen out. Let's start with the 10 of Diamonds, which is a summer themed item. For that, I've chosen this Elta MD um, UV. This is a SPF of 46. I have gotten out of the habit of wearing sunscreen um, and I need to get back in there. So I'm gonna put this in to finish using up is my goal. 
Um, I have used this quite a lot. I did shine a flashlight through here and you can kind of see this is an airless pump and I am up like up in this area up here. So I have used a ton of this. So my goal is to completely finish using this and get myself back in the habit of putting sunscreen on because I know it is really important and I need to be working on this. So this is gonna be for my summer item. And then for the Balm product or a black owned makeup brand, that was my seven of hearts. I had a hard time choosing which product I wanted to put in. I love Juvia's Place, as you guys know. You saw my eyeshadow palette that I just um, chose that I put on for today's look. So I'm choosing to work on this Juvia's Place. This is one of their matte liquid lap, oh my goodness, matte lipsticks from the um, their Berry line. And this is in the shade Drama Queen. Look at this packaging, it's just stunning. This is the lip color I got right here that is gorgeous. I did just get this one probably, I wanna say in June, and I have not, um, worked on it at all. I have not even worn it once. So let me give you guys a swatch of this beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is stunning. So my goal for this is just to wear it 10 times. I am working on a ton of lip products. If you guys are following any of my other project pans, you know I'm working on lots of different lip products. So I want to use this 10 times, get to know the formula, see how I like the color and all of that. This is the first lipstick I've bought in probably two years. So I'm excited to try this out and see what I think of the Juvia's Place formula. Love, love, love their eyeshadow. So I'm happy to be able to be trying out a different product of theirs and see what I think of it. So for the next update, I think for sure I will have my goal met on this one of using it halfway. I can definitely use this one 32 more times and I have 17 more uses on this one that I definitely think I will meet. We'll see if I'm able to hit my 10 uses or finish using this up. I'm not quite sure, but I think I have a very exciting update coming up for next month as well. Um, so. If you guys don't wanna miss any of this content of mine, any of my panning content or my next update, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.